guys, today we've got another amazing video. But before we start, remember to click that subscribe button and the like button. And remember to smash that um, notification bell so you never miss out on the latest content. Okay, so I've been getting this question all the time. And, and I've been going, like, Luke, what's the best drone you can get for the cheapest price that has a camera? And it wasn't easy, but I found one, and it's a hundred dollars, and it's called the Sky Patrol foldable drone with camera. So, as you can see, on first appearance, it looks quite good, not too bad for a hundred dollar drone. <coughs> so, we let's get into it. So we open it up. On first look, we have app and user manual. Then we have the Sky Patrol foldable drone with camera capturing major photos and videos, so the manual. Then we open it up, then we get into the good stuff. So here's the drone and foldable, it's about that big, so it wouldn't be able to fit in your pocket, but it's still quite small, so it's like you could have it in your bag or something. But let's unfold it. So as you unfold it, it gets quite a lot bigger. But and in the in the box you it also comes with these um uh prop guards. So say if you crash into someone it won't hurt them because you've got these prop guards. So plucking all these in and the drone's got a camera at the front there that you can move up and down. Sadly you can't do that on the remote control. And I've been testing this bad boy for like about three days and I've been liking it so far. And it's a good beginner's drone. So on the top you've got the right drone quadcopter. And yeah, now it's quite big. Okay, so as you go, now we've got the controller, which first appearance looks quite normal. Uh, down here you've got your phone phone holder and you've got the aerials and everything and then up, up here you've got speed it so it's got three speeds and I've been trying the top speed and it is very fast this is a very fast drone you've got the 360 degree flip the takeoff and land which means you can just take off um, about and it puts you at a meter in the air from the ground and then you've got headless mode which means you can basically steer it by moving the controller then you've got one key return which it returns to the exact position it um, launched from or took off from gyro calibration it means it gets it say your drone's not flying right it gets it perfectly straight in the air and it stays in the air at that exact point fine turning so if you want to make fine turns and everything emergency stop and i tried this one out and basically it just stops it in mid-air and it just falls to the ground and turns itself off so over to this in the packet you get the um adapt adapter and the cord in there and you get these four spear uh um prop props and that so that's pretty, pretty cool and i didn't uh, i've been charging this so i don't have the adapter and um charge charger cable but you've got this battery which is a hundred megabytes and it lasts about uh, um 10 minutes i think that was yeah and so yeah on the bottom there's the bottom of it top and when you turn it on it's got these lights which is quite cool yeah, turn it off now and now the controller it just beeps and it lets you know red lights okay so that's um quite good and i've been flying this i'm thinking this is actually quite a good drone for beginners and yeah i've been having a lot of fun so Overall, I give this a rating for like what it is, a rating out of eight out of ten, being ten being good and zero obviously being terrible. But yeah, it's not bad at all for a hundred dollars, which is very cheap for a drone, and and it has a camera. The camera quality isn't amazing. Like you could get a drone for a thousand dollars, and it would be. 
10 times as good it it would be amazing but this not really amazing camera footage but it's still quite good if you just want to make moments also you have gestures gesture things so you can you can make these gestures and it will stay in the same place and it will take your photo so it's like controlling it with your hand and yeah you've got the app the app on there it's oh it's okay connection to the drone but it's way better using the controller and the controller's range from the drone is about two kilometers which isn't too bad for a hundred um dollar drone overall i think this drone is quite good for be beginners and so we've come to the end of the video and now i want you to subscribe if you like the video and want to have more of the channel smash that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any other videos and most of all like it and every like counts so please do this thank you for watching